Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam, or Shaws, and today I'm bringing you guys a game of domination on the map Radiation, and that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Some strategies that uh, I employ when I am playing domination by myself, which by the way is 100% of the time, which I'll talk about in a little bit here, and also some strategies for the map Radiation. So let's start off with some strategies for the map Radiation. Uh, what you'll notice here is I immediately go for control of this area right here, this little catwalk area I'm going to call it. Um, I go for control of this area right here because I know that I'm going to be using an assault rifle, in this case the FAMAS with dual mag, which I might you know, touch on in a little bit here. Um, and what I want to do is make it to this catwalk area because A, I spawned closer to it at you know the spawn that I got this game, but I probably would have ran over here no matter what spawn I got. And uh, when I have an assault rifle and I'm closer to this area, I know I can get up on top of the catwalk and sort of stand right in the position that I'm at right now and look to my left right at this area right here um, with a little bit of a vantage point on it so that any of the enemies coming up there will have a difficult time uh, looking up to where I am, my position, and killing me. So I like that area. I like to control that with an assault rifle, although an SMG like the AK-74U or Spectre would probably work just as well, or, you know, well as well, but not quite as well, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, um, moving on enough about radiation that's just sort of my starting route that's where I like to control that you know area of the map and I actually I'll talk briefly about the opposing side of the map the map uh, or the point that I'm looking at right there do you see that room that I'm looking at kind of or where I'm pointing towards there's a room up there that is across from the catwalk area that I just discussed and that's also a pretty frequent area I'd say just as many people like that area as like the area that I went to and the reason why I'm going to tell you that I don't like that area is because of the fact that it's really closed in and it's difficult to get get to that area. I know that if people are standing by the catwalk, I can easily pick them off because I can control that area pretty well with an assault rifle. It's got one long line of sight and then one little medium area that I can usually control pretty well if I hip fire with an assault rifle. But that room, I'll tell you man, people love to sit up there with their assault rifles, stare down at the stairs, uh, stare down the ladder, they like to set their claymores and all that stuff over there and they're really effective because if you're coming up the ladder over there, a claymore on a sharp turn, you're fucked. All right, If you're coming up a ladder, a claymore on top of a ladder, again, you're fucked. There's no avoiding that. But those corners over there by the catwalk area, claymores don't seem to work too well, and it's too big of an area to use like one motion sensor to control, and also people are actually at a disadvantage if they stand directly over the stairs, and that's where most people go when they're trying to defend that area from people coming up it. So, that's why I'm going to stay towards the catwalk area almost no matter what. Uh, yes, occasionally, you'll probably see me run up in this building over here, even in this game, uh, but there's just you know reasons for it there's reason like for example i know later in this game i'm going to go to that area because that's the area i was closest to and i knew that there was enemies you know around that area and i needed to find somewhere to hide and i knew that nobody was up in that room so i was like all right now it's safe normally i wouldn't go up there but now it's safe but anyway enough about radiation there's my little two cents about radiation and those two adjacent rooms uh, or adjacent areas uh, now let's talk a little bit about domination and playing it by myself with the objective of winning most of the games as well as ranking up fast so the number one reason why I play domination by myself is that I want to rank up fast in this game and what I found is that it is a lot easier to hold a higher kill death ratio when playing in parties and it is a lot easier to win when playing in parties of commentators and stuff like that people who are in friends with and who are good at the game but it is a lot more well not a lot more difficult you're pretty much gonna rank up at like I'd say 60 to 70 percent the rate that you would when playing by yourself and the reason for that is is because there's less kills to go around if I'm playing in a party with FPS Kyle and Wings of Redemption I know that I can probably count on each of them to get between one and two blackbirds in that game and one and two chopper gunners but I also know that because of that that there's gonna be less kills from for to go around for me like in this game for example I think I get two chopper gunners and when I got those two chopper gunners nobody else on my team had any air support for the rest of the game I was the only or maybe they had some air support I see some care packages being called in right now I think one guy got a uh, helicopter from a care package actually um, but other than that I was the only guy I was you know one of the only guys who gets uh, air support for the team and that's usually the way it goes so I know that there's not gonna be a lot of people who I have to compete with to get my chopper gunner up in the air with however if I was playing with a full party it'd be pretty tough now, like I said before, yes, it's a lot easier to hold a good kill death ratio because I can also count on, you know, Kyle and Wings to get those blackbirds, and it's a very low 
uh, there's going to be a very low chance that we're not going to be set up in a defined spawn trap where uh, we have a blackbird up in the air and we know where the enemy is. Uh, but at the same time, can't get as many kills in a game. I'd say that I can usually get between 20 and 30 extra kills in a game by playing by myself. So um, the only game type you'll ever see me playing with people is probably Search and Destroy. And those people who I play with are almost always going to be uh, subscribers, people who I invite via Twitter. So um, sometimes I do play with people, but when I'm playing Domination, 99% of the time it's by myself. And those are some things that you know I, I do when playing by myself, so, or that's the reason why I play by myself. Now for what I do when I play by myself. So uh, as you'll see, my kill streak setup is the spy plane, the blackbird, and the chopper gunner. Now I have a, sort of a, um, I guess a reason to this rhyme. It's uh, no, or I forget the, the saying, but uh, there's a reason to what I'm doing. There's sort of a methodical. Uh, plan I have. What I want to do is specifically um, get through the beginning of the game right off the bat and get a spy plane up in the air. That spy plane up in the air early in the game, if I can get two quick kills with Hardline on, it's going to be an enormous help. And it's also going to help out a lot of my teammates who might struggle. So it's going to be helping me and them. The next thing I'm trying to do is build up to a Blackbird and then a Chopper Gunner. Not calling in the Blackbird right away. Now towards the beginning of this game, I was a little bit hesitant as to how the game would go. So I did call in my Blackbird right away. But typically what I do is I wait Hold up, my TV in the background's going. Typically what I do is I will wait for my... I'm going to pause this real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my TV turned on and the office was playing. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is usually wait for my chopper gunner to you know, go through, play through. I'm going to use that and try and allow my teammates to get a little bit of map control they might have not previously had. If, let's say you know we didn't have B and uh, we needed to get that. I might call in a chopper gunner, allow my teammates to move forward on the map by spawn trapping the enemies and you know not giving them the chance to kill my teammates while they capture B. And then once I'm done with that, you know if they were to say not have captured B by that time or just to allow me to then build up to another chopper gunner another blackbird and keep the process going i'm going to wait till then to call in my blackbird that way i can you know actually build on that previous kill streak because to be quite honest when you have a blackbird up in the air um you can pretty much you know knock out blackbirds over and over and over and that's another great thing about playing with the party guys if you you know get if one guy gets a blackbird chances are one other guy is going to be able to get his blackbird from that ability or from that blackbird that's already in the air so uh, that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed this little game of Domination on Radiation. Final score was 67-3, and three, so quite a good game. I had three captures and seven defends, so I'm going to say I played the objective in this one and uh, kind of show you guys the way that I do it when I'm playing by myself, and I will see you guys later. Bye.